multiplying monomials. A monomial is a polynomial with just one third. For example, 2x is just one third. It's a monomial. Or 7x squared or 15x squared y. All of these are just an exa examples of monomials. When you multiply monomials, first multiply the coefficients. The coefficient is a number placed before and multiplying the variable. For example, the, uh, the coefficient here is 15. That one is 2. This one is 7. And remember that we need to use multiplication property of exponents when you multiply, when you multiply monomials. Let's take a look at these examples. Uh, we know that the multiplication property of exponents is just like x to the power of a times x to the power of b. The answer is x to the power of a plus b. Now let's take a look at these examples. Here we have 5u to the power of a times negative 3u to the power of 3. So first, multiply the coefficients. A, 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. And u is the same variable, so we have the same variable both. Just write that, and the power is 11. 4 times 7 is 28. Then here we have x, y to the power of 4, and z2 and 3 add the powers is just z to the power of 5. Here, negative 9 times negative 7 is 63. a to the power of 8 times a to the power of 2 is a to the power of 10. And b, we don't have that one here, so just b to the power of 4. 3 times 1 is just 3. x to the power of 4 is 3 plus 1, that is 1. And 4 plus 2 is 6, y to the power of 6. Negative 3 times negative 4 is 12. p to the power of 5 and p to the power of 2. If you multiply, you get p to the power of 7. 6 times 4 is 24. u to the power of 4 times u to the power of 1 is u to the power of 5. And then t to the power of 1 and 3 is 4. So that one is u to the power of 5 and t to the power of 4. Negative 3 times 5, negative 15. a squared times a to the power of 4 is a to the power of 6. And b cubed times b is b to the power of 4. You have 4 times negative 3, negative 12. p to the power of 4 times p to the power of 1 is just p to the power of 5. And then q to the power of 2 plus 3 is 5. 